up. Um, today is a makeup video. Again, I know what you're thinking. Boring, yawning, sloppy, lazy. But um, I just wanted to make this for fun, even though literally nobody asked for this. So I will try to like make this tutorial-esque, but it's not exactly that either. I am sitting on my bed instead of my desk where I usually do my makeup because filming there is a pain because the lighting is so terrible. So I have to do it here. Hopefully this will suffice. Today I'm gonna do my, I call it hot unstable mess look. Basically just like black all around. <laughs> sort of like Beba Doobie's makeup, but without the freckles and like not as marinated. I'm gonna put my hair up first though because I don't like having my hair down when I do my makeup. Since today I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of on my base, I'm gonna be using this um, Instant H one concealer because it's like the exact same shade as my skin and I use this as like um, a foundation dupe when I don't feel like actually using foundation so put that under my eyes and my nose and here like on the chin you can't really see but um yeah that's what I'm doing basically and a couple blemish spots I use this like very used um, sponge blender thing and I just blend it up as usual you know as you would with concealer or foundation or anything on your face I feel like I need a little bit more coverage I don't do my forehead because I have bangs and I don't feel like having my foundation get all or concealer getting all like sweaty up there so I just don't put them at all now I do my eyebrows first I just use this um tinted brown mascara kind of you know brush them up and set them in place before I actually draw anything on I don't even need to draw anything on my brows are pretty dark so it's just like a little bit extra for me anyway and then I take my eyebrow pencil silky girl expert brow slim liner and I use the pencil part to fill in any like gaps in my eyebrows that I feel like aren't as dark as the other parts and then I brush it with this spoolie once again for good measure measure nothing is a string okay. <laughs> I think you can see the difference on camera. Now for the main thing, which are my eyes. So usually I would use a black eyeliner pencil and then like draw it, but mine broke. So I'm gonna use black eyeshadow instead. First though, I think I'm gonna put like a tiny bit of eyeshadow on my eyelid. For that, I will use this flat brush. <laughs> Ignore how dirty it is. And I'm gonna use like this brownish, grayish shade. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure palette. Not very old, but um, I'm just gonna use that shade. Alright, I'm gonna use this straight flat brush and this black shade to do um, the smoky bits basically using this as eyeliner first just draw out the shape very it doesn't have to be clean okay just very roughly and then I bring it in to there in the crease and then kind of blend it to the middle and then I go back to the liner bit and I just like pack it on there make sure it's visible 
Brush. I'm just gonna use this little round flat tip brush and I'm gonna like smudge it out a bit, like a little bit. And then I go back with the same flat straight brush and I go here on the like waterline and I just outline more waterline with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna try to connect it to the liner there. I do it up to like right before my inner corner. That's basically it. I don't care about being neat when it comes to this look because I feel like the smudginess and messiness adds to the flavor of the look. So that's sort of what I'm trying to achieve. Now I'm gonna do that on the other eye. Now after both eyes are done, I'm gonna just go back and I fucking smudge the fuck out of it. Like, oh. Smudging works better with eyeliner pencil because um, when you use eyeshadow, there's like a, it's like a thin line between smudging it and blending it, you know? So I have to be like extra careful if I'm using eyeshadow, but otherwise you get the same look. Now that is done, next I just curl my lashes as usual. I use this um, Maybelline Sky High mascara. And usually when I use mascara, I realize that it's literally like gone after a couple of hours. I don't know why, something about my eyelashes I guess. But this one stays on pretty long. I don't have to touch it, touch it up too much. I also do my bottom lashes, even though they're not that long or that noticeable. I like the look of it. I can't really see it on camera. I know it looks like I'm <laughs> putting product on nothing. I swear I have bottom eyelashes, okay? I have no idea how people get their bottom lashes so long. I feel like mine just aren't at all, and I don't know if there's like a thing people do to elongate them, but... I obviously don't know if it's just natural like that and I like to give my eyelashes like a final pump after the mascara pump 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 and those are my eyes done <laughs> now I'm gonna contour okay. I'm gonna contour my nose it's really the only thing I contour so I use this um, Hello Lovely palette from Sephora. Very old, um, but I just use this dark brown shade here. And I use this type of brush. You can use any brush really. I just like this one because it's like kind of fluffy and precise. Not really proper precise, but it's like soft. I used to do my contour with like a straight brush and it was like really harsh. And now I prefer a softerish look. You can see it's like kind of soft even though it doesn't definitely tell it's contoured. Now I take a fluffy brush and I just blend it out even more so that it's not super obvious. Time for blush. I still prefer to use lipstick as blush rather than like powder. I'm gonna use this... I don't know what this is. This lipstick has not had a label on it since it was given to me by my sister. It's a second hand lipstick and it's still going strong. It's just a pinkish color. So I just place it like this, three dots, and like a little bit on the nose, like a clown. <laughs> First, I blend it with my fingers upwards. I go back with the beauty sponge I used earlier, just like pack that shit on. For highlight, I also do not use a powder for this. I instead, use this Insta, Insta Strobing highlighter, which is a liquid highlighter. It's very bright, so I just like to put a little bit on my hand first, and then I go in with my um, finger and I just like dab it in places I want it to be. I need to put a lot more on my cheeks than like other places I highlight. And then I just 
you use my finger. So here, what to put on my lips. Today I feel pink. I'm gonna use this Atomi Lip Glow. It's not really a lip anything. It's just a lip balm really, but it like kind of changes your lip color according to like the pH. I don't really know how it works. All I know is it makes my lips really pink and I want that right now. It's not very moisturizing, which is why I like. Can you see the difference? This is what my lip was, the color of my lips before and this after I put on the, the lip balm. Alright. Wait, let me go into better lighting. Alright, and this is the final look. <laughs> this is basically what it looks like. And I don't know, I just really like it. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. This is the most awkward tutorial ever. Um if you liked it and if you follow it and it works for you, then that's great! I'm so happy. Um, and if you're just here because you're my friend and I asked you to watch this video, thank you also. <laughs> okay, I have to go now. I'm going out. My ride is coming in like 15 minutes. So, bye! See, I do have bottom eyelashes. Okay, bye!